click the bell icon to get latest videos from ekida hello friends in the previous topic we have discussed about the preparation of h2so4 by contact process and now in this topic we are going to talk about the late fever process from which we could prepare h2so4 so this is the topic that i am going to talk about so now let us understand this one So friend, this is the other method where we can prepare H2SO4 and this is basically lead chamber process. So what the reaction occurs and this is what I'm going to talk about. So let me make you to understand that is this is the reaction that is we have to consider that is two moles of SO2. And in the previous example also we have understood that is SO2 is the main ingredient so as to prepare H2SO4. So in this case we see two moles of SO2 it has been reacted with two moles of H2 and also in presence of oxygen with the catalyst that is nitric acid. So as to form that is two moles of H2SO4. But this is a one-step reaction that is I have mentioned over here. But this is not a one-step reaction. It takes multiple steps so as to prepare H2SO4, and that is what I am going to talk about. So now let us understand the steps that are been involved in this process. So talking about the steps that are been involved in the formation of H2SO4. So for that, a molecule of that is HNO3 along with that of three moles of H plus. Also, we see the sulfur can react with oxygen so as to form that is sulfur dioxide so this is the main component that is what we could get so it was already present in the reaction but instead of that we can also use sulfur and we can react with oxygen so as to obtain that is SO2 so now what have happens is this SO2 and this HO3 they play a very vital role and in fact they will be very much helpful in preparation of SO3 and that SO3 would be very much helpful in preparation of that is H2SO4 so the thing is that is I'm going to talk about that is there are presence of that is HNO3 and SO2 right now so that's the reason that in this case suppose if the HNO3 is reacted with that is two moles of SO2 along with that of that is suppose if I'm using I have malice the reaction that is two moles of HNO3 is reacted with two moles of SO2 so as to obtain that is SO3 this SO2 it will be converted into SO3 that is two moles of SO3 by the liberation of that is nitric oxide along with that of nitric NO2 that is nitrogen dioxide and obviously we can find that is water as a byproduct also so therefore here it is water as a byproduct so here there is a formation of SO3 so HNO3 plays a very vital role in converting this SO2 into SO3 but meanwhile the other substance also that is NO2 that is basically produced even that NO2 is very much helpful in that is oxidizing this SO2 in SO3 so therefore the NO2 that is what we can say so even that can be reacted with SO2 to form SO3 along with that of NO that is nitric oxide so if we talk about this is the nitric oxide that was being used in the first step that is what I'm saying that is it was been used in this first step so as to obtain HNO3 and after this HNO3 obviously whenever this HNO3 was been reacted with SO2 again this NO is been produced so thereby we can say that is this NO is acting like a catalyst so in this case in the both the cases or in the both the reaction we can find NO that is nitric oxide it is getting removed and that is what it is acting like a catalyst but now the main component that's what we could get is SO3 so now this SO3 Whenever it has been dissolved in water, that is in H2, we could find the production of H2SO4, that is nothing but sulfuric acid. So, this is how the reaction proceeds, and this is how basically we have converted this single step reaction to obtain or to understand that is how does the reaction occurs so as to obtain sulfuric acid as a main component. So that's it. So thank you friends for watching this video. I hope you have understood this video very clearly and I hope I will see you next time. Till then don't forget to subscribe to channel. Thank you so much.